Welcome back to our channel folks, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more enlightening content. Today we're debunking a common myth that's been circulating around the fitness world. Yes, we're talking about the notion that more gym equals more gains. You've probably heard it before that the more you sweat, the more you get, right? Well, it's not always the case, let's dive in. The gym is beneficial, no doubt, it's where we build our strength, our endurance, our physique, but it's not the quantity of gym time that matters, it's the quality. The belief that hitting the gym every single day will fast-track your fitness progress is a misconception. In fact, it could be doing more harm than good, you see, when you work out, you're essentially breaking down your muscles, causing tiny tears in the muscle fibers. This is a good thing because when these fibers repair, they come back stronger and larger, leading to muscle growth. But here's the catch. This repair process happens not during the workout, but during rest. Yes, you heard it right. Rest is when the magic happens. So if you're spending every day in the gym, you could be denying your body the crucial recovery time it needs. And what happens when you don't give your body the break it needs? Overtraining. This can lead to a host of problems, including injuries, burnout, and decreased performance. Ever felt like you're putting in all the effort but not seeing the results? Overtraining could be the culprit. It's also worth noting that overtraining can mess with your immune system, making you more susceptible to illnesses. So in the long run, you could be compromising not just your fitness goals, but your overall health. The bottom line, balance is key. A well-rounded fitness routine includes not just exercise, but also proper nutrition, hydration, and yes, rest. Remember, your body needs time to recuperate, so don't rush the process. Moving on, let's dive into the benefits of the push, pull, and legs workout split. This workout regime is a tried and true method and it's about time you got in on the secret. The push-pull legs workout split, often abbreviated as PPL, is a simple yet effective way to structure your workouts. It's all about breaking down your routine into three distinct categories. Push exercises target the muscles used for pushing, like your chest, shoulders, and triceps. Pull exercises focus on the muscles used for pulling, such as your back and biceps. And legs, well, that's all about giving your lower body the attention it deserves. The beauty of this split is that it allows for targeted muscle training. By focusing on specific muscle groups, you're able to really hone in on each area, ensuring that no muscle is left behind. But it's not just about the push, pull, and legs. It's about how this approach can help you make the most of your gym time. With this split, you're not spending hours at the gym every day. Instead, you're working out different muscle groups on different days, giving each set of muscles a chance to rest and recover before the next workout. This is crucial as rest is when the real magic happens. It's during these periods of rest that your muscles repair themselves and grow stronger. By allowing for adequate rest between workouts, the push, pull, legs workout split helps to prevent overtraining and promote more efficient muscle growth. And let's not forget about energy. With this split, you're not exhausting all your muscles in one go. Instead, you're able to devote more energy to each workout, making each session more effective and leaving you with plenty of energy for the rest of your day. With the push, pull, and legs workout split, you're not just saving time, you're optimizing your fitness journey. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of your workout routine, the exercises. When it comes to crafting an effective workout regimen, incorporating a blend of compound and isolated exercises is key. But why is that? Let's dive in. Imagine compound exercises as the main course of your fitness meal. They involve multiple muscle groups and joints, which makes them fantastic for boosting overall strength and burning calories. Think deadlifts, squats, bench presses and pull-ups. These exercises are the heavy hitters the ones that help you build a solid foundation of strength. Now, if compound exercises are the main course, isolated exercises are the garnish. They focus on one muscle group at a time, allowing you to target specific areas with precision. Want to sculpt your biceps, define your calves, or chisel your abs? Isolated exercises like bicep curls, calf raises, and crunches are your best friends. The beauty of this dynamic duo lies in their complementary nature. While compound exercises increase your overall strength and boost your metabolic rate, isolated exercises allow you to focus on specific muscles, enhancing their definition and size. So how do you incorporate these into your routine? Aim for at least one compound exercise and one isolated exercise per muscle group in your workout routine. This ensures you're working all your muscles effectively, contributing to a balanced and comprehensive fitness program. 
Balancing compound and isolated exercises in your routine can lead to well-rounded fitness results. Remember, variety is not just the spice of life, but also the key to a successful fitness journey. Lastly, let's talk about sets, reps, and the golden rule of fitness, progressive overload. Now, you might have heard that doing two to three sets per exercise with three exercises per muscle group and six to 15 reps per exercise is the way to go. But why is that? Well, this structure provides a balanced approach to training, allowing for adequate volume and intensity, both of which are crucial for muscle growth and strength improvement. Two to three sets per exercise ensures that you're not overworking your muscles, which can lead to burnout and injury. Doing three exercises per muscle group allows for comprehensive training of each muscle from different angles, promoting balance development. And aiming for six to 15 reps per exercise strikes a balance between building strength and promoting muscle hypertrophy or growth. But here's the real kicker. None of this will matter if you're not progressively overloading. Progressive overload is the practice of gradually increasing the stress placed on your body during exercise. This could mean lifting heavier weights, doing more reps, or performing more sets over time. Why is this important? It's simple, your muscles need a reason to grow. If you're not challenging them, they have no reason to adapt and improve. Progressive overload provides this challenge, pushing your muscles to grow stronger and larger to meet the demands you're placing on them. Remember, consistency and gradual progression are key in achieving your fitness goals.